25 million kids here in the U.S. can't read proficiently. It's all according to the National Assessment of Education Progress. And it's one of the reasons that our parent company, EW Scripps, uh, created this public charity, the Scripps Howard Fund. Each year it hosts the If You Give a Child a Book campaign that has distributed now thousands of new books to kids in need all across the country and here in West Michigan. Our Lauren Cooper joining us live from East Leonard Elementary this morning. Best day ever there yes. for the kids, Lauren. They're going to pick out the titles that they want to read <laughs> so and take fun. home. Yeah, that's right, guys. And those kids have started coming and picking out books. Right now we have the fifth graders in here looking at what books they want to take home for the summer. And it is so important to continue that over the months that they are not in school. We are joined by Miss Smith, the uh, in I guess you're the in person in charge here of the Scholastic Book Fair this morning. So tell us a little bit about the importance of these kiddos picking books for summer. Um, it's so important for kids to be able to choose their own books that they want to read. Um, they're more likely to read them. Um, and then heading into summer, it's so great to have a full library of books that they chose to really help um, hone those reading skills over the summer. And seeing, you know, the different age groups, we have K through five coming in here this morning, and you really have a ton of books that cater to each of those groups. So talk about the variety as well. Um, so you talked about making sure they're picking books that they like. We have a great selection this year. Um, all of their favorite characters are here. Gabby, Elephant and Piggy. So they've been walking by the past couple days, just getting really excited about the options that they have. And you guys were telling me earlier that they get to take four books home right now, but uh, in the fall they got another four books, and then Barnes & Noble also gave them some books. So this is just a really great way to get them reading. Any tips that you have for parents who may be um, trying to get their kids to read over summer to stay on top of it? Um, I would just read together as a family. Set aside 15 minutes, 10 minutes, um, where everybody just sits down and has a book in front of them. Even the littles that maybe can't read yet, if they start looking at pictures, that sets them up to become readers in the future. And so this is the second day of the fair, um, and you guys have seen quite a few classes through already. Um, how many more kids do you have to pick out books today? Uh, we have... Uh, I think like six more classes coming through today. So, and like I said, everyone is excited. They've already been eyeballing through the window what they want to pick out. They were telling me at breakfast that they can't wait to come. So mm -hmm. it builds a lot of excitement to have the fair here. Yeah, you can really see these kiddos over here. They already know what they're getting. They go, went right up to the counter there. Well, thank you so much for all the great information. And uh, if you are interested in learning more about the If You Give a Child a Book campaign, you can head to our website, box17online.com. We'll have a link there. And we will also have more info on how you can donate to help give kids books on our website as well. For now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, I'm Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.